Remember when the world was a much simpler place when we were in third grade and our teacher was talking to us about the growth and development of plants? Well, I'm here to change all of that for you. It used to be so much simpler back when we thought that the development of plants and their paths, such as the shoots and roots, depended solely on gravity and the nutrition around the plants. Turns out the process isn't that simple, and there are some genes involved as well. Before we dive into any of that, let's talk about some chemicals known as auxins. Auxins are chemicals that are involved in plant growth and stimulate cell division. They are produced in the root tips, shoots, and buds. Auxin production and their sensitivity depends on certain genes present in plants. By now, you should have been able to guess. Auxins are also involved in the growth of roots, and they help in root gravitropism. The new question in your head now might be, what is gravitropism? Gravitropism is the downward growth of plant shoots and roots, which occurs because of gravity. Now that we know what gravitropism is, it's important to understand how scientists were able to prove that auxins in certain genes were the reason for the gravitropism in plants. This is quite interesting, and so let me get right into it. You can provide auxins exogenously to the plants and show that it helps in the growth of roots. But Lawrence Hobby and Mark Estell worked on a beautiful plant which is also a model organism known as Arabidopsis thaliana to prove the genetic importance in gravitropism. Mutant Arabidopsis having altered response to auxins were chosen for this experiment. A new loci involved in the auxin response was discovered on chromosome 1 of the Arabidopsis plant known as AXR4. These AXR4 mutations were found to be recessive in nature, that is, both the parent plants must have this mutation in order for the phenotype to be seen. The AXR4 mutant plants had the following morphology, curled rosette leaves, late gravitropic root response, reduction in lateral root formation and auxin resistant root elongation. There have been other loci that have been associated with auxin response termed as AXR1 and AUX1. The AXR13 and AUX17 mutations are recessive as well and result in almost the same phenotype as the AXR4 mutation plants. The AXR41 and AXR42 mutations were found to be allelic, that is, they are alternative forms of the same gene caused due to mutation and are found in the same place on a chromosome. These mutations were found to be non-functional alleles, that is, these mutations will cause a lack of production in gene products, therefore there will be a lack in the production of AXR4, AXR1 and AUX1 proteins, leading to reduction in the production of auxin and difference in auxin sensitivity. The genetic relationships between AXR4 AXR4, AXR1, and EUX1 were characterized using double mutant plants. Roots of the AXR4, AXR1 double mutants are more resistant to auxin, producing lesser lateral roots than either of the single parent mutant. Hence, it was concluded that AXR4 and AXR1 interact in such a way that their combined effect is greater than the sum of their individual effects. The AXR4 UX1 double mutant plants form fewer lateral roots than either of the parent mutant and are resistant to auxins just like the UX1 parent. The AXR4 UX1 double mutant has an additive effect on lateral root formation. Hence, the AXR4 UX1 double mutant is less resistant to auxin than the AXR4 AXR1 double mutant. The UX1 17 mutation appears to depend on the AXR4 mutation in terms of auxin resistant root elongation. It was noted that the lateral root formation in AUX1, AXR1, and AXR4 plants was slightly less compared to the wild type. In the AXR4 AUX1 double mutant, it was fully reduced, while in the AXR4 AXR1 double mutant, it was almost eliminated. It was also seen that the AXR4 AXR1 double mutant was slightly responsive to gravity, even though it had low sensitivity for auxin and lateral roots were absent. Hence, it was concluded that the lateral root formation needs more auxin sensitivity than root gravitropism. It was seen that there was root elongation in the auxin resistant plants when compared to the wild type plants. Hence, it was noted that the reduction in the sensitivity of auxin results in root elongation. Hence, it was proved that the AXR4, AXR1 and EUX1 gene products are important for normal auxin sensitivity, gravitropic response in roots and lateral root formation. The experiment was also able to prove that the mechanism of auxin action during root gravitropism and the formation of lateral roots is different. Therefore, we could see the importance of genes in root development and gravitropism in Arabidopsis thaliana.